Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. 13 degrees at 9.17 a.m. and I am your host, Fakamal, and I'm a sinner. I'm here with my beautiful brother, Prince and co-star Samuel. He's got a nice bird going. We got some city chickens circling out there. There they are. Oh boy. To the 8 billion of you who were not tuned in yesterday, I actually woke up feeling rested. There's my brother, Prince of Ghost, Dar Sullivan. Oh, Tammy. And, uh, oh, it's a far cry from how I'm feeling today. Oh, I have got this evil, foul, malignant taste and feeling in my throat and mouth. It's, the taste isn't there, but in my nose and lungs, it's there. And I ain't right. And most people that have known me have known that for a long time. But this is a whole nother thing. Oh, boy. I've been rotting it from the inside out, I think, since the day I was born. And it's starting to uh, manifest itself on the surface of things. Oh, boy. There's that seal. Oh, but how I feel is irrelevant. My Mackie's not doing very good. And he's upstairs in a closet right now. And last night, we were sitting, uh, doing a crossword puzzle, watching something on YouTube. And he went spazzing out, running all over the living room, and then he disappeared. And then a little while later, I saw Mikey underneath the desk, scraping and scratching. And I mistakenly thought when I went and looked that Mikey just shit on the floor in there and it was Max. And it smelled like baby poop. <laughs> and there were sticks in it. And I don't know what... But I was pissed at Mikey for doing it and yelled at him for not using the box and I realized this morning that it was Maxi. And he's still up there and he didn't want to come out of that closet he's in so we might end up taking him to the vet oh boy those city chickens are just uh, doing their aeronautical ballet got some major icicles starting to form oh boy so anyway I did not sleep well I don't feel rested today. And despite how the day started yesterday and I had plans to go do things, I did not do anything. I just stayed here and hung out with the cats and laid in bed. And You gonna be nice? You gonna be nice, Sully? You be nice to Uncle. And then after that, after the incident with the turd underneath the desk... Mikey and Sullivan had a knockdown, drag out rumble, and it was bad. I mean, it was bad, and this happened right before I was ready to go upstairs to go to bed. And Mikey wouldn't let it go. It started in the basement, and I went down there to see what was going on, and then took hold of Sully to get Mikey free passage to get back up the steps. And he didn't want no part of it. While I was holding on to Sully, he attacked him. Oh, boy. So, a lot of chaos and confusion in the air. Maybe we need to uh, exercise this house. I don't know. Something's not right. and There is great evil afoot. <laughs> quite similar to that feeling in the Lord of the Rings. And Gandalf started putting things together and visited Frodo in the Shire at the beginning of the movie. 
that's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of where this household is at. And with that, we are going to take a break. Welcome back. And I don't mean that at all. And I mean it even less than I do on other days when I say it. Sully left, but Sammy's still here. Oh, Sammy. We gotta get you your pill, honey. It is Sushi Meyer. <laughs> sushi. It's Sushi Meyer at Wednesday. Now it's Sushi Wednesday at Meyer, and I believe last week we did actually get some sushi, but I don't think it'll happen this week. Maybe it was two Wednesdays ago. Ah. Oh. Who knows what's going to happen. Yesterday I did not make any tortillas. I was talking about making homemade tortillas. I ended up just cooking some rice to have with that pork I conjured the day before. Where you headed, Sam? Where you headed, Poppy? Uh-huh. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. There's those city chickens coming by again. Yeah, I'm in rough shape. There are approximately 40 city chickens out there between the power line and the service line. Yesterday the ducks came and fed, and in fact, there's tracks in the snow. I think, uh, again, to the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis, I believe it was Saturday we had a city chicken that appeared to have been injured by a predator. And I think he's still hanging in there out there because we had one walk from the direction of the Smiths by the Arbs, Arbs over there. He walked through the snow and started feeding and then walked back through the snow and went back over there. So I don't know if that was the one that got wounded and injured the other day. Maybe it's another one, but he couldn't fly very good, but he could walk through the snow, and when all his friends were out there, he went and joined them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Isn't this fun? Sammy's back to see us. Come on, Sam. Come on, Samuel. One good thing about yesterday is it did stay sunny all day, and my loves were hanging out here on the sun porch enjoying it. Oh, there's that Sully, and there's that Sam. Yeah, it was nice and warm out here. Oh, Bobby. He's got such a fur going. He is such a sweet, good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Samuel. What are you trying to tell me, Poppy? You're a good boy. We started reading a new book yesterday called The Unexpected Stranger. It's a novel based on a Agatha Christie play. Read three chapters of that. I can't think of a whole lot else that we did. I just relaxed a lot. Welcome back, and again, I don't mean that one little bit. Mikey's joined us. And Sullivan's come back and joined us too, and I don't know how this is going to work out. And looking over Sully, uh, I see he got tattooed pretty good on the nose there and behind his ears. I'm not seeing any wounds on Mikey. I didn't last night either, but Mikey was giving him the best he had and then some. Yeah, he's Sully. And he's got a scratch there on his nose. He tattooed him pretty good. Well, we are back for our closing segment. I'm still here with that Sullivan who's been grooming away. And Mikey, there's an uneasy truce between them. My arm's not long enough to get them both in there, is it? There it is. Bobbies. Two little Bobbies. You're all right, man. So anyway, Grandfather Son's poking through the clouds again and a couple quick items before we close. Uh, the guitarist Jeff Beck passed away two or three weeks ago. Big loss in the world, in the musical community. And 
I've been watching a lot of uh, videos of him performing with different bands, and last night I watched one with him performing with a traditional Irish band. And the man was just phenomenal. And what he could do with that guitar was just beyond words. And anyway. And then the other thing that kind of caught my eye, and I've been trying to stay from the news, stay away from the news and the politics and the bullshit, but Mayor Beetlejuice in Chicago actually said that if people didn't carry cash on them, it would cut down on crime. Not let's arrest criminals and throw them in fucking jail and, you know, hold people accountable for behavior, but it's it's the people that are getting Rob's fault for carrying cash on them, and if they wouldn't do so, there wouldn't be so many robberies. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a lot of that going on in all these cities and in a lot of politicians' minds, the bullshit coming out of their mouths. I don't know what they're on. I don't want any of it. I just wish they'd start getting held accountable. But I doubt that's going to happen. But anyway, we're hope, hoping for another bright, sunny day out here for these loves. I've got some beans cooking for some hummus, and I guess that's about all we got. Tune in tomorrow if you're still there. We'll see if anything happened with Mackie. I hope he's all right. So... From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless and forsaken and forlorn soul. And I guess we might as well throw in there evil, foul and malignant. Piss off. Happy Wednesday and thanks for not tuning in.